Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Jeff Grant, SBR contributor and today we're going to be looking at that baseball game between the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Francisco Giants. How you doing today Jeff? Couldn't be doing better Dax. This series has turned exactly what I thought it was going to be when we talked about the series price. Of course I suggested a play on the Giants and I still like that way of going about things as I think they will advance to the uh, to the World Series but of course we have a long way to go in this National League affair. Well, the Cardinals, they actually did even out the series at a game apiece that with this Sunday's uh, past victory. But they did suffer a pretty big loss with catcher Yadier Molina leaving the game due to an oblique injury. Now, do you have any other recent news on the Cardinals all-star uh, catcher, Jeff? The Cardinals have to make a very interesting decision here, Dax. I had to read up on it a bit because they can actually remove Molina from the NLCS roster and replace him. But with that move, he wouldn't be available to participate if St. Louis goes on to the World Series. So this is a massive decision for Mike Matheny, the third-year manager of the Cardinals. Of course, uh, St. Louis went 26-27 and 27 when Molina did not start the season. A lot of that came over a seven-week period where the all-star catcher was out with a right thumb injury. But right now, he's dealing with an oblique injury, which is very difficult for him to swing the bat. So I don't see him playing in this contest or the rest of the series. Now, Jeff, I found a stat that says that eight of the past 14 runs allowed by San Francisco in the postseason have come by solo home runs. Now, do you think that the Giants are going to be able to correct that problem at AT&T Park for this game? They should be able to since AT&T Park is one of the more pitcher-friendly ballparks in Major League Baseball. And I like the aggressiveness of the Giants pitching staff. What that means most, most of the time, especially in the early innings of games, Dax, is the pitching staff is being aggressive with the fastball and trying to just limit bases on balls. But when you get in the later innings, just like last night where the Cardinals had a walk-off home run, uh, it becomes a little bit of a problem. But as the game proceeds at AT&T Park, the moisture in the air really knocks down the baseball. So I don't think San Francisco is going to have that problem of giving up the long ball, especially against the Cardinals team that, yes, they've been hitting home runs, 11 postseason home runs so far in 2014. But this team was uh, didn't have much power during the regular season. Now we're going to have two top right-handers with tremendous professional careers in their resume being scheduled to take the bump for this game. Now, does Tim Hudson or John Lackey get a better edge in this game? Which one of them actually has the better edge for game three in this series? That's tough to say, Dax, but really I think handicappers need to look at the edge that I think people are going to overvalue the loss of Yadier Molina. And I say that because John Lackey is used to pitching to A.J. Pruszynski, who I presume, presume is going to be the starting catcher for St. Louis in Game 3. He was not on the NLDS roster, but they added him to the NLCS before the series. Uh, Przinski and Lackey were battery mates from the beginning of the season when they were with the Boston Red Sox before it being acquired by the St. Louis Cardinals. So I'm not sure if there's an actual edge here, but I do think people need to uh, not overvalue the loss of Molina in this case. All right, man. So taking all those factors into account, what type of better are we going to see for this game? I'm going to go with the under here. There's a lot to like. Lackey, of course, a very distinguished career, and he really has made his name in the postseason. Uh, of course, he won the 2002 World Series for the Angels as a starting pitcher in Game 7 against the Giants. Of course, this is a different San Francisco team, but I was in the ballpark that night watching him pitch that game. He has a 2.92 postseason ERA over his career. While you look at Hudson, he really turned things around in his only postseason appearance this season against the Washington Nationals. He has a 3.19 ERA in his postseason career. And more importantly, we talked about those home runs that San Francisco has given up. Dax Hudson has not allowed a home run in 100 combined at-bats against him against current Cardinals players. All right, well, there you go. That's the stat that you need to keep in mind before making your bets on this game. As always, Jeff, it's a pleasure talking baseball with you, and I look forward to doing it again uh, tomorrow. Thank you. No problem. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. 
To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.